four of Britain's best loved stars are almost lookalikes for aging crooks they play in a new movie about the Hatton Garden Gems heist. Captured on the set of the new blockbuster film about the Diamond Weezers are Michael Caine, 84, Ray Winstone, 60, Jim Broadbent, 68, and comedian Paul Whitehouse, 59. Sir Michael is believed to play the pound 25 million raids leader Brian Reader, 77, who used his bus pass to get to the raid in London's Jewellery Quarter. Winstone is believed to be William Billy the Fish Lincoln, also 60, who was claiming disability living allowance. Broadbent is said to play John Collins, 75, who acted as lookout as the gang drilled through concrete to empty a vault of jewellery and cash over Easter in 2015. White House is believed to play Plum McHugh Doyle, 49, who helped the gang transfer the hall. The People's exclusive pictures show the veteran stars alongside Netflix's Daredevil Charlie Cox, 34, as shooting got underway this week in the real Hatton Garden. Reckless actress Francesca Annis, 72, and Michael Gambon, 76, complete the stellar lineup in the film Night in Hatton Garden. One onlooker said, I did a real double take when I saw them there in the middle of Hatton Garden. They looked like the men we saw in CCTV images of the robbery. It will the third version of the story to hit the screen, including The Hatton Garden Job, starring Larry Lamb and Phil Daniels, which was released last month to patchy reviews. The star's characters drilled through thick concrete to climb into a vault at the Hatton Garden Safe Deposit Company. They cracked open 73 boxes containing cash, diamonds, sapphires and gold. The gang was brought down by CCTV, number plate recognition cameras and phone evidence. Reader, Collins, and Terry Perkins, 67, were also caught out after boasting during a drinking session at the Castle Pub in Islington. Perkins, Collins, Lincoln, and Daniel Jones, 61, were all jailed for seven years while Reader got six years and three months. Carl Wood, 59, who quit the gang halfway through the raid because he thought they'd get caught, got six years. Doyle got a suspended term. The star's characters drilled through thick concrete to climb into a vault at the Hatton Garden Safe Deposit Company. They cracked open 73 boxes containing cash, diamonds, sapphires and gold. The gang was brought down by CCTV, number plate recognition cameras and phone evidence. Reader, Collins, and Terry Perkins, 67 were also caught out after boasting during a drinking session at the Castle Pub in Islington. Perkins, Collins, Lincoln, and Daniel Jones, 61, were all jailed for seven years while Reader got six years and three months. Carl Wood, 59, who quit the gang halfway through the raid because he thought they'd get caught, got six years. Doyle got a suspended term. It is based on a screenplay by Joe Penhall which is in turn adapted from a Mark Seal Vanity Fair article. Sir Michael Caine is no stranger to heist movies, having played Charlie Croker in The Italian Job. Winston played a gangster in Sexy Beast and Gambon was a memorable villain in Layer Cake. Broadbent, however, is best known for playing more gentle-natured characters, including Bridget Jones's dad. Last September Reader's lawyers made a failed bid to reduce his jail term at the appeal court in London. They asked judges to show mercy, saying his health had deteriorated rapidly during his incarceration at Belmarsh Prison in South East London. The court heard he has prostate cancer and has also suffered a stroke while in custody. But the appeal was rejected by Mr Justice Flawkes, who said that Reader's health has not declined because of the fact he is in jail. He said, we recognize that he is suffering from serious health problems and that it may well be that he will not survive this sentence. However, there is no evidence that being in prison has caused his health to deteriorate. Some of his conditions predated his commission of this offense. It cannot be said that the very fact of his imprisonment has endangered his life. This is a case in which an elderly man with health problems chose to commit this extremely serious offence in 2015.